Astronomers have been given a rare insight into a supermassive black hole swallowing a star. Joining us live is the Chief Investigator and Astronomer at the Centre for Astrophysics and Supercomputing at Swinburne University, Professor Jeff Cook. Jeff, appreciate your time. Thank you. We have some images here to show our viewers. I'm keen for you to describe for us what we're seeing. What actually happens when a star gets too close to a black hole? Thanks for having me. Um, a star like our sun will be orbiting around in the galaxy and sometimes the orbit takes them very close to a black hole. In this case, a supermassive one. These are at the centers of galaxies and they're millions of times the mass of our sun. So they're, they're very powerful gravitational fields. So that's the th center thing you're seeing in there. And as the star gets too close, it gets physically just ripped apart, torn apart, and its material uh, swirls around the black hole as you see there. And that material, has a magnetic field and that magnetic field can get twisted and particles that have an electric charge can flow up of that field and you see those jets coming off there. So we're actually witnessing a star like our sun being just torn apart by a supermassive black hole. And is it safe to assume that anything that's got that close would have a similar outcome? I mean, I realise this is purely hypothetical at this point, but if something much smaller, like a rocket or a satellite, for example, what would happen if they inadvertently got close to a black hole? Uh, depending on the black hole, um, it, a similar type of thing, you, you get stretched and the gravity stretches you and you get torn apart. Spaghettification, they call okay. it. <laughs> OK, so by the time we can actually see this sort of event from Earth, how long ago has it actually happened and, and where is that happening? It's a good question. It's, it's very distant. This, uh, this event actually happened essentially halfway across the observable universe. So it, the light travels very fast, as you know. It takes about eight minutes to get from the sun to us. This is so far away, the light is just reaching us now after 8.6 billion years. So that's how far away it is. It's extremely far away. Yet it's extremely bright. It's some of the most luminous explosions in the universe. And an unusual wow, thing about billions the, uh, of years. Now, billions of years. And one thing I want to point out is that jet, this has happened, you know, several times stars will encounter this, but in this time it's extremely rare that this jet of material is being launched and it's being launched at nearly the speed of light. And it's that little narrow beam and this particular one happens to be aiming towards the earth. So we actually get to see it. It's very rare we get to witness this. And how are we witnessing this? How do, how do we see this? You see it with a lot of telescopes. So, you know, the night sky is normally very calm. You just see the same thing every night. But when you put a telescope on the, the universe, a lot of things are happening, very dynamic, a lot of explosions, a lot of variability. And in this case, telescopes were scanning the sky and uh, collaborators of ours in the US discovered a very unusual source. And so then we immediately followed it up because they evolved very quickly. And we used a bigger telescope and monitored it and tried to understand it better. And actually, it took telescopes around the world, a collaboration globally in the US, Chile, Canary Islands, France, French Alps, Spain, and even in space with Hubble Space Telescope and, and telescopes that are on the International Space Station. So all of these telescopes with their different wavelengths and sensitivities examined the source and put it together so that we can understand what it is. Jeff, it sounds like we've learned a lot about black holes in recent years, but what are some of the big un unanswered questions? Is, it sounds like there is still quite a bit of mystery surrounding black holes. There are mysteries and events like this let us understand gravity, gravitation and physics that you can't create on Earth. And so you can understand how, how the mechanics of black holes, one of the things that we believe causes these jets is a very rapid spin. And so that spin, it might be a key factor in, in, this, in these, these jets. Also, tearing apart a star is uh, quite an event. And it, so it, it causes, you, we understand those physics as well. So it gives us insight into very high energies and uh, very high gravitational field physics. Professor Jeff Cook, it is fascinating to see. I really appreciate you taking the time to explain it to us. Thank you. Sure thing, thank you.